let me show you what I got from ASOS. I got to love this. This is how we're looking so far. This is... And I got a little purchase, so I thought I'd show you what I got. I... So these are just a few things that I thought of. Thank God this has an extender. I don't know how this is gonna show up. Hello girl, and welcome back to my channel. I've got probably the biggest trip that I'm ever gonna go on in my life planned. I go literally tomorrow, and I'm going to Australia, and I thought that we could pack together. And I'm not just going like to Australia or like on a holiday for a week or two weeks. I'm going for five weeks. I've never, I don't even think I've been on a two week holiday, like since I was very small, like I'm normally a seven to 10 day type of girl and then I'm home. And that is normally me with like a full case brimming to the, it's normally very, very full, <laughs> let's just put it that way. So I don't know how this is really gonna go. I'm also so, not like overwhelmed, but I just don't quite know like what to pack. And I also normally am a very obsessive, packer where i try everything on in outfits and i'll have like seven outfits styled and you know accessories bags shoes i feel like this trip is kind of not going to be that vibe because we're going to be on the beach we're going to be doing like excursions like traveling like it's going to be much more of a different sort of trip so i feel like it's going to be less outfits and more just like versatile pieces that i can wear a lot like to a lot of different things so ignore the sight of me because i've just had a asos parcel come through and i thought we should try it on together before i pack it so I thought no point getting changed. But I thought to start if I would just run through what luggage I've got. Because I feel like that's always a good place to start. And I actually treated myself to some new luggage for this trip. Because the ones that I had, I'd had them for like seven years or something like that. And the, the, the wheel had started to crack. And I was like, you know what? It's such a long journey. I don't want to get halfway on the plane. And then imagine it's broke and I get to Melbourne. And they say, yeah, actually your suitcase is broke. So I was like, okay, right, let's invest in a new set. So I actually went for like the Rimoa style. I really like it. I wasn't 100% sure when I first saw it because I'm much more of like a neutral, a gold, but I actually really like the silver. I've like grown to love it. So I obviously didn't get the Rimoa. I got the Rimoa dupe from B&M, but it's from a brand called Constellation and it has three years warranty, 360 wheels, it's got a hard shell, 95 litres, and it's also got an expander. So it's really quite big, if I hold it up for you. I got the biggest size, and this was £65. They did have a medium for 55 And then I also got the matching cabin, because I thought this is just perfect for, one, like the smaller trips. You know, if you are just going to, like, Amsterdam for a few days or something like that. Um, and I feel like these are nice for the plane, like, to take on with you, because we're going to have so much stuff. This will be, like, the... You know, this will act as the overflow car park. So this is the same brand and everything, but it was £40. So I got the set for 105 which I don't think is bad. And they do feel really good quality. They look really big. I don't know what litres this is. 30. I mean, I don't know what that means, but yeah that's the suitcase and then i have got a new airport bag because the bag that i normally use for the airport has been this capri one and i do really like it but i've used it a few times and it's actually quite a heavy bag on its own and like you can only really wear it on your like shoulder or hold it and that's not always the most convenient and it is good because it like sits on top of the suitcase but i wanted something new and different so i treat myself to one of asos and it's more of like a shoulder it's more of like a sling so i feel like that'll be better so basically the plan of action is to just pack as much as possible today get it all done we might have to do a few little sessions i've got so much to do like you know that day before holiday and you're like oh my gosh i've got so much to do and because we're going for so long it's like these things can't really wait until I get home. Like, these need to be done. So, also, fake tan. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> it's literally banging on my door. Let me show you what I got from ASOS. I got some really cute things. I feel like I've never really gone on ASOS much anymore until it comes to a holiday. And then they just have, like, the cutest things. So, I want to try all this on because I don't want to pack it if I don't like it. First thing I got was this black knitted dress. I don't know what brand this was. I'll try and link as much as I can below. They don't come with tags on, do they? Oh, this is actually ASOS design. I got it in a size eight. So it's like a crochet knit black dress, but how cute. It's just got like random patchwork on. And I thought this was very like travelly, beachy. So let's try this on. We'll just have to excuse the fact I am so pale. Okay, right, this is how it looks. I feel like I maybe could have sized up to a size 10. 
but it is really cute obviously i need to wear some sort of like bra or bikini i feel like it's like see-through but i feel like i'm covered enough like with something on underneath this is really cute i feel like just for dinner with some like sandals and a little like colorful bag this i think is the bag so i'll just show you that i think this yeah this is from a brand called glamorous and it was this sort of Bag. i thought this was just really cute i feel like this it's nice because it's like it's actually looks it's bigger than what it looks so it's got this like big bit here and it's nice because it can go on the shoulder really comfortably and i thought this won't be so like heavy on me and i thought this would also be nice for the beach it looks quite big i feel like i'll be able to fit everything in here so yeah that's the new airport bag slash like traveling bag slash beach bag whatever while we're there so that's really cute that was only about 20 pounds i thought that was really good then i got this dress from miss selfridge miss selfridge honestly has so much nice stuff i feel like since they shot in birmingham like all those years ago i just have never shopped on there and then i kept seeing so much on asos from miss selfridge so i got this dress i thought how pretty is this i got this in a size 10 i don't think they had any eight but i love this crochet and then it's got like an open back so let's try this on okay right this is this dress thank god i sized up because i couldn't step in i had to put it over my head it's not brilliant to be honest like if you look like that can you see there's like a dip in the boobs there is like a tiny little rip as well where the actual dress meets the crochet part but i feel like i could get away with it but i don't know i haven't even got big boobs i'm not i'm a little bit confused I don't know it's i like the look of it but i don't know whether like actually up close it looks a bit weird it's a shame though because it looks so pretty from the back if you guys can see it's not that long it's just like here but yeah it's just not really doing much for this region okay what else did we get okay i got this really cute card i've seen this on a few people last year and then i thought oh there's no way asos will still stop that but I saw the skirt and then I managed to find the top. So I was like, okay, slay, I'm so excited. It's a bit weird, but it looks really cool. And not even like worn together. It looks really cool, like worn separately as well. So this is the top. Okay, this top looks huge. That looks like it's going to bury me. Okay. And then this is the skirt. How cute is the skirt? To be fair, I was more bothered about the skirt because I feel like it looks so cute. Very like Jerf Avenue, but more maximal colourful vibes rather than like um, Jerf Avenue. It makes it a little bit softer. So what size did that top come in? So the skirt is in a small. That's fine. Oh, the top come in a... Oh, no, that's not it, is it? Yeah. The top coming a medium that's probably why right let's try it on and see okay right yeah the top is just too big but i'm really not bothered because i feel like the skirt it, i feel like on it on um on together it looks quite a lot um i don't know if it's a very like my sort of style i feel like maybe if it was like cropped would we do it i have to imagine myself with a tan in like a beautiful location um, this is the top of the skirt. I feel like will look really cute with some like sandals and a bikini top or like a colourful like just like baby tee. I feel like I saw someone wear it like that in the summer and it looked really cool. So I got this dress again from Miss Selfridge and this actually looked so stinking cute. Very on trend with the, the vibes at the moment. And I thought this would be nice if we had like a nicer dinner planned or something off. We were in like the city because we're going to go to Sydney and Melbourne and stuff. So I don't know what size I got this in. I got this in a small and it's like a cheetah print um, mini dress. But then it's got this like red trim and then the model had tied these into bows and she looked really cute. So I thought, okay, I have to get that. I feel like this I could wear this a lot. Like, it looks very put together without actually having to try. So we love that. Let's try that on. Oh, this feels so comfy. And then the model had, like, I feel like with a tan, this will look better. I literally look see for I'm so sorry. I was going to tan last night, but I was so tired. I literally did not, like, stop yesterday. And then I had a shower, and I was like, oh, the last thing. You know, and you feel so clean after a shower, and you just don't want to have to, like, feel gross from fake tan. I was like, I don't want to. And then like she'd sort of like tied them um so it looked like this i feel like with 
some cute sandals like wavy hair this will look all like a scrape but a bun with a tan <laughs> with a tan if i was that good at editing i would just add a tan on myself right now i feel like it's really cute and it's like yeah like i said it looks like you've made more of an effort than you really have because it's a really comfortable dress so we love that okay so we've got a few yeses i've got some cute hats actually i feel like hats really like can make or break an outfit but i feel like they add such a nice vibe so i got this red one red and cream one because i thought that was cool um let's take my hair out. i thought that was nice you know just like add a bit of color um with the white the cream and the the cream oh, i forgot i got this okay the cream and the red and then i also got this green pack i love a cap I was always a little bit scared of cats, but I feel like I've really got like into them a lot more the last sort of like six months or so. So I got this green one as well. This is tightening, but I thought this was cute. And obviously it's going to be so hot when we're there. I feel like a cap is a little bit of an essential. So yeah, we got those. Those actually fit really nice. Caps I find so hard to buy because they can be such horrible, ugly shapes. But you know what? ASOS of Slade. Right, I got these from Topshop. Topshop actually had the cutest stuff on there. Like, more for like when I got home though, and I was like, okay, right, we don't need to be ordering that. But I got these beach trousers. How cute are these? And the model had them like really low rise. She turned them down. She looked so cool. I got them in a size small. But they're like a white, like crochet -y wide leg. I love them. But they've got these like flowers on, like sunflowers. I just thought these were so cool. I feel like I wear these so much. So, what can I try these on with? Okay, right, I've got a bikini. I've got some stuff from Boohoo that we need to try on as well, to be fair. So, okay, right, this is how they look. Oh my gosh, no, they're so cool. Let me just fold them down and then I'll pan you down. how cool are these i feel like i can wear these so much like i could even wear them to dinner with like a nude pair of pants and like a nice top oh no i love these these look so cool they're very like hippie i love that these look insane okay, i have got a few things from boohoo that i haven't been able to try on so i got this dress which i think will look really cute as long as i can like cinch the boob cups in so i've got that and then I think everything else, I'll be able to guess that it looks okay. Okay, so this is how it looks. I feel like this is just like gonna be, you know, for like an easy day running around because you're like covered up, but not. I feel like this is really cute, even with like a big denim jacket or something. I'd maybe wear more of like a, like just plain white though. It looks a little bit crazy with the, it looks a little bit crazy with the cherries, but maybe with like a bright white bikini or something or like swimsuit. This is cute, but I haven't got too many of these because I feel like these are very like by the pool and we're not really going to be by the pool. We're going to be more like out and about exploring. So let me throw this on. Okay, right, that's what I was worried about. Okay, this actually fits me really nicely. You have to like, without it tag, um, tied, it's like that. But as soon as you cinch these in, and then we can do it in a little bow. Okay, cute! This is really cute. I actually love this. They had this in white and black, and then they had it in this more like um like red and white. I don't even what even pattern is that I can't tell in the mirror. But it's a really cute dress. Anyway, I feel like this is so pretty. And it's like again very easy, it feels very comfy. I love this, but it feels like very put together okay yay that was actually that's actually way more of a success than i thought okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to open up my case oh the only other thing that i haven't tried on is i got this really cute knitted top from primark um i mean it should fit it's just like this i feel like this looks so cute with like trousers or some like um denim shorts so i got that i haven't tried that on but yeah i'm going to clear the bed off get my case on there and then we'll start putting in like definite yeses, things that we know we want. He acknowledged where he hurt you. Mm. He took you it for the plot. You're saying you're going to do it for the plot. I'm saying I've never seen that man again. Or yeah. it's like, do you know what? That was really lovely. He's definitely grown and evolved. Okay, right. Suitcase is open. I'm going to leave this bit. I'm going to try and fill this pot up first because we haven't got that much space to do it. 
so right this is, these are the bits that i've like brought recently that i've just sort of chucked out here um i've got some bits from hollister that i showed you in the weekly vlog and i've also just got some bits from primark those are mainly like pajamas and accessories though i'm gonna fold up the stuff that i've just tried on because i'm currently standing all over it what was a yes that was a yes that was a yes that was a yes these were a big yes the skirt i'm gonna take and i'm just gonna wear it with like a plain top i think or like a bikini um this was a yes this is actually really cute asos design really don't sleep on it i feel like they have such a cute bit so that's a yes this i feel like it's gonna have to be a no because it's where this see how there's like that line of stitching that just like swallows up so i feel like that's gonna have to be a no and so is the skirt and then everything else was good right so i feel like poa is going to be i'll put you guys there um put like it into sections so i like to visualize what i've actually got so i'm gonna put dresses in one section so i think i'll do that first because the majority of the dresses i'm going to take are all quite new so i'm just going to fold these up it's honestly so hot i've never had to pack i don't know how to pack i don't know how to roll um i've never had to pack for a trip like this like for so long and it's really hard like i said i like to be so organized and just know like exactly what i'm wearing when i'm wearing it and but this is just like <laughs> absolutely not the only other things that i need to remember that i don't have here to pack are my the dress for the wedding so i've got a wedding over there and i've got the most gorgeous dress so i need to remember to get that it's currently at my grandma's hanging up in one of her spare wardrobes so i need to obviously remember to get that my shoes my bag for the wedding i've ordered these really cute earrings i ordered some from i don't know if it was boohoo last week but they just didn't come so i quickly got on amazon and ordered basically the same thing on prime so hopefully they come today um, and hope if not i'll just find my normal hoops but i did want to find like a cute pair i feel like they'll add something I also got these stunning trousers from Zara, which again are going to act as a really nice like beach slash because they're really they're really light linen, um, or like a nice dinner. But like they're going to look really cute. Okay, right here I've got a pile of unitard dresses. These are just ones that I pulled like out of because I always get my summer stuff up in the loft, so I got my other suitcase down and pulled out these bits so i don't think i'm going to take this i wore it in turkey and it looked cute but it was one of those things where i felt i had to keep fiddling it fiddling with it this is really cute this is from boohoo i don't know where my phone is i can hear you but i can't see you um this is like a really cute like peachy dress i wore this quite a lot in the summer just at home and it was just really like comfy and easy you know until it's just like flattering so i'm definitely going to take that this dress would be nice for like an evening. This is Miss Pap. It's like a little like cargo mini dress. I feel like this would be nice. We've just seen like sandals like on the beach one night. And then I've got a few. Oh, I've got this from Boohoo Courtney Kardashian. It's just like a black mini midi dress even. And it's got like a bit of a ruche. It's just like literally a black bandeau, like very plain, very simple, but I feel like I could accessorize it quite cute. So I think I might take that. And then I've got this. I don't know if I ever tried this on. I really can't be bothered to try anything on now. Um, this like yellow. I feel like it'll look really cute though. Cause you can wear it like off the shoulder or on the shoulder. And it's got these like little like ditzy flowers on. I feel like it is very like holiday. Let's pack her. We never know. We never ever know. Thing is, I don't want to have to keep like repeating outfits either. And then, right, these unitards are honestly classics. Miss, I was gonna say Miss Fox. White Fox unitards are the best. I've got this white. I know this is long sleeved, but I'm thinking maybe just like in an evening this would be cute, or like when we're in the city, maybe if we're going shopping next week or something. I don't know. So I'm going to take that. Then I've got this lovely one from Zara. This literally is my ride or die unitard. I would wear this every day for the rest of my life. It just, there's just something about it. It's like crack. It's like obsessive. 
then i've got this one this is from a brand off revolve it's called well-being and being well and it's just like a brown one i think this will be nice for some like hikes or like you know if we're on the beach one day but not like sunbathing like if we're just more exploring i feel like that will be really cute and it's really comfortable as well so i'm going to take that and then i've got another white fox one because like i said white fox are the goat this is really cute so I'm going to take that. So I was going to get an Adenola one. And then I was like, you know what? I've literally got exactly the same, but in a navy blue. And I feel like navy blue always looks really cute. Okay, right. On to shorts. I've got these ones from Zara. But to be honest, they're so creased. And how am I ever going to get these? I mean, I guess I'm going to have to buy like an iron over there. I know, like a steamer. Anyway, I've got these shorts. I've got these shorts from Mango which are really cute they always look really nice on I've had those for so long i've had these new ones from zara these are like my dressy type of shorts so i guess three pairs isn't that much i do love a short to be honest i love a short and like a little top okay that's all the shorts okay these are some more more like casual shorts i've got these towel ones from miss pat these are really cute and also really 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 comfortable nice to like throw on if you've been in the sea and you don't want anything too like restrictive on and then i've got this little set i think this is boohoo as well these striped shorts which always look so nice it's actually got a matching shirt it's like a little beach cardboard which i feel like this is just so nice you can just wear it with like a little white crop top too um, and then I've got these little like hot pants. I don't know whether these are from Kai the Label. I need to try these on. I'll try them on later. But I've got these little blue ones from PLT, which are so small, but I feel like they will actually be quite nice. It's going to be so hot when we're over there. So I feel like I'm going to throw those in. It's getting full. It's getting full already. Okay, right. Classic tops for me. I don't know where my black one is, but I know my orange one. I've seen it somewhere. These are from Stradivarius. I'm going to pack them in every colour that I can find. I've got a pink, a white, an orange and a black. So I know the orange. I saw it somewhere. So these are just so comfortable. They're like bras, but tops. Like you can get away with them for both. And they're just the perfect top for wearing with little shorts, with skirts, with trousers. I literally wear these all the time. I don't think they sell them anymore, which is kind of annoying because I would literally keep buying and buying them. Um, I've got this cute top from Zara. I'm going to try and cut the tags out because I feel like they're going to be unnecessary weight because I've only got 25 kilograms or something, which is not that much. Like considering when I went to Turkey, I literally had that much weight for a week and I used it all. <laughs> that was nice. Okay, so this is how we're looking so far. This is everything that we've got in. I've just grabbed all the tops out of my wardrobe that I think I'm going to want to wear. More like colourful ones and just like easy to style. Okay, so here's my little orange one. I'm going to take this because it's so cute. The Some of my summer stuff must be hiding somewhere else because there's things that I brought this year that I just don't have. Well, last year that I just don't have. I don't know where it could be. I'm going to have to have another look. So I've got this little purple top. I feel like this will be really useful. Again, I've got this little like tank, which is really cute. Um, this H&M one. I've got this little Miami one. These, those, That one's from New Look. These are from Zara. These are like similar to the Stradivarius, but they've got like a back. But these are really cute too. Got it in black and then this like mocha colour. Like these are so nice to wear on holiday with like little skirts and things. So we've got that. Then I've got this green one from Stradivarius. It's just like a tank like this. I feel like this could be quite useful. It always looks really cute. And then this bodysuit. I don't wear this enough and I really feel because it's stunning. It's like a khaki square neck like this. Um, and it looks really nice. I've only worn it a few times. So I'm going to take this because I feel like it'll look nice tucked into shorts. Okay, I actually got these re this really cute jumper from Hollister. I don't know where my phone is. I keep hearing it vibrate. Someone could just call me. <laughs> that would be brilliant. Um, I thought this would be really cute. And then I've also got this from White Fox. It's like a crochet skirt, and it's like a little crochet <coughs> crochet bra. How cute is that? So I'm going to take that. I do have a similar from Primark, but I'm not going to take it because I feel like, I don't know. It's very like beach. It's like too much beach. I feel like it's like very, it's cute. 
but I feel like I'm gonna leave it because we don't have room for everything. Sorry, it's nothing against you, it's just, you know. And then I also got this from Hollister too, this really cute little like rah rah skirt. I love rah rah skirts. This is what I mean, my holiday stuff just isn't here because I have so many. Um, I'm not gonna take that. I, even though it's gonna be really warm, I don't know if to just take like a few pairs of leggings because like I'm gonna wanna work out and I don't know, I'm in so many two minds about working out like what am I supposed to wear, maybe not that. Um, I heard that's empty. Oh, I got this from Boohoo, just like a big t-shirt, which I thought would be nice with some shorts. And I also got this red shirt. I just love a shirt on holiday. I think you just can't beat them. And I feel like red is just, just the colour right now. So, right, pyjamas. I'm not going to do my accessories right now. I feel like I'm going to do my accessories later. But I'll find my pyjamas in while I've got them. I got these two pairs. I'm probably going to need more than this. We're going to definitely have to get some sort of laundrette service going on because, like, I don't, I didn't want to take 10 pairs of pyjamas. But... I also don't just want to be wearing the same two pairs of pyjamas for weeks. So I got these two pairs. I feel like they're really cute. Okay, right. This is what pyjamas we got. These striped ones. Blue and white striped. With like matching shorts. The shorts would also just be really cute. Just like worn out. These are the shorts. I feel like it's very Brandy Melville girl. And then these are lit. No, I'm sorry, like these worn out with a little white t shirt. So cute. They've got these like little, like ditzy floral print on. Really cute. And then this is the matching top. I feel like I might even end up just wearing this out, to be honest. Not even as pajamas. This is the top. It's really, really, really sweet. I'm just going to put them on top for now, but I'll probably end up moving them into like a different compartment. So I'm not going to do this part now, but. What I brought to put my toiletries in, I've already got one of these, which I usually keep my skincare in. So I brought another one, but in a cherry print. And then I also brought this like bigger one, but I think I might put my skincare in this one because this is going to be what I reach for the most. And then I'm going to have one for hair care. And then I'll just keep one for probably like makeup and like overflow, you know, like accessories, like jewelry, combs, bubbles, um, you know brushes hair grips stuff like that so i've got those for that so i'll get everything together for those but i'm probably going to do that later um okay i feel like we made a good a good start on all of that to be fair these are some swimsuits that i pulled out i hate that oh here's my phone i love this swimsuit it's like a zebra print these are all from boohoo i got this one i'm not really 100 percent on the color but i feel like beggars can't be choosers and then i've just got a plain black one just take the tags off all of this I just realised I have so much more to pack like I've got all my trousers I've only put like two pairs in I've got all of my striped trousers I've got four pairs of striped trousers to pick from so that's going to have to be challenged oh my god where is my stuff like I'm just having visions of things popping in my head and I'm like where is that where is that where is that where is that I don't know I'm going to have to go on another hunt anyway swimwear I've got this packing cube from Primark I had a few of these um I think one broke, but I've got the big one. So I'm going to put all my swimwear in here. I'm just going to show you a few of my favourites. This one's really cute. I got this from Sheen. I never wore it on holiday last year. So that's brand new. And also this one from White Fox is stunning. I haven't worn this yet either. Hey, I love it with like the underwire. I feel like I need that. And then these are the bottom. I've got like a little ruched bomb. They're insane. I love them. Um, I haven't got the top to that. This one's a cute one. But it's got quite like a big hole in the middle. I don't think I'm gonna take that. That's a no. This one's really cute. This one's really cute from Primark and PLT even. I wear this a lot. So I'm gonna chuck all of that in here. And then I'm gonna to have to try and find the rest of my swimwear because currently I've literally got three bikinis, so yay! is and then we've got three swimsuits so once i find the rest of it i'll chuck it on top but this is what we've got so far hello 
hello it is a little bit later i actually have had just as i like saying goodbye to my nan saying goodbye to mia me and mia actually went to the outlet by us this week this week today and i got a little purchase so i thought i'd show you what i got i also got some amazon things in here i got a case because if you watch the prep with me i accidentally ordered the wrong size case for my ipad and um, they didn't have a purple one but i got this sage green one and it's got like the place for the ipad pen and everything so that's really cute so i can put my ipad in there and i got these really cute bow earrings for the wedding because so i'm going to have my hair for the wedding with like these bits like curled and they're like a messy like updo and i thought these would look really cute because they're like a bit of a statement so i got those from amazon they were literally 2.99 which i thought was so bloody good and then right i thought i'd show you i've never actually brought a coach bag this is literally like my second designer bag which is crazy the able actually really kindly and really crazily invited us we go there all the time like it's our little like local i guess you could say like spot we go for coffee and everything and they invited us down so it was really really generous of them i'm so i feel crazy like how is this my life but i decided to get myself a bag i wanted something i was toying between either sunglasses or a bag the reason i didn't go for sunglasses is because i've got so many like dupes like i've got this gucci pair and honestly, for sunglasses, as much as I'd like love to invest in like a Prada or a Miu Miu or, you know, like a classic sunglass, I feel like I would just personally lose them, sit on them, break them. Whereas I feel like a bag, you do get a little bit more value for money. So I went into Coach. There's a few bags to pick from that I really loved. And I was just toying between like, how much am I going to wear them? A lot of them as well in Coach, which I didn't realise. I had quite a lot of silver hardware. There was a gorgeous like, um, like pillow one that I really loved. I don't know what the, like, the one it was, but it was gorgeous. But it had silver hardware. And I was like, oh, I really need gold because I'm such a gold girl. So this is the bag that I settled, not settled for, that sounds the right word. But like, this is the bag that I went for in the end i was stuck between three and then the shop assistant was like you know what what about this one she's like it's actually in our clearance and then she got it off and i was like oh i actually fucking love that like it was stunning because it's yellow and i feel like it will be so perfect for australia but also just for like spring and summer i really love it it reminds me of like the you know the red one me has i can't think of the name but i always really wanted the pink one and then i was like you know what i'm over it but i love this yellow one so obviously it's still like got all of the stuff on but it's like this and then this is the front of it but obviously you could wear it either way like if you didn't want this one but it's got like the leather strap with the coach it's got a shoulder strap so it looks like this it looks really pretty i think for australia it'll just be gorgeous because it's got that like pop of colour it fits on the shoulder so nicely and then it's also got a long strap as well so i was really really happy with it it's like quite a thick strap as well so if i ever wanted to cross body it which is nice like if you you know like shopping in london you don't want to be faffing about with a bag on your shoulder or on your arm then i really love it and that's my first coach bag i've never bought anything from coach but i will say i feel like coach is such good value for money this doesn't have the actual how much it was because obviously it was an outlet store but mia got a really pretty and um, like brown like tote as well really really cute and he said that um together there would have been like 500 pound so yeah this is what i got it's the jess bag it doesn't really have the name and i don't think is it on this retro yellow sig jack l n baguette but she said it was the jess bag so i was like okay we love that i really 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 like it. i'm really happy with it i feel like it'll just be perfect for spring for summer you know it's like an outfit like this i like add the pop of color and i feel like i would never go for a yellow bag so i'm actually like really happy i feel like it's such a pretty color and on holiday it's going to be gorgeous so little holiday treat purchase which i'm really 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 happy about so i'm also borrowing mia's um what is this called tabby bag i can't even think what it's called because i feel like it'll go with the dress that i'm wearing for the wedding making sure she's left nothing in here i feel like it'll go with oh by the way saying bye to me at saddest time like literally when i picked her up she like opened the door she didn't even look at me she like turned her head and i was like oh no we looked at each other and we were like it's really sad isn't it and we just both sat and cried and then like when i left it was awful we were literally just like i've never gone on holiday for this long and i'm so excited but it's also like I'm a very like home body, a very homesicky person. Like whenever I'd go for sleepovers at my friend's house when I was little, or whenever I had to have like camp or like brownie camp, I'd get really sad and just like 
really bad anxiety i just want to stay at home with my mom and my brother and my dad like i never wanted to go and like leaving the dog and everything i just yeah there's just like a lot of emotions and it's kind of it's kind of sad so yeah but now i've like said bye like i feel okay but like saying bye was really horrible so yeah i'm borrowing this bag because i feel like it will go really nice with the dress that i'm wearing to the wedding because it's like a pinky white so we've got this bag so i thought next of the agenda we we'll should go through what bags we're taking so we're taking that one i'm taking this one so i brought it specifically for the trip this one from zara um i did get this one but to be honest i don't think i really need it i feel like i've got enough i just brought this but i'll keep it for when i get home because it's really cute and then i also borrowed this off mia because we thought it would just be cute to throw on the shoulder and it's also got a long strap as well if i wanted to do like a crossbody moment with it so that's potential four bags we might whittle them down but that's what i'm thinking of taking right here right now also have got this full of holiday clothes this is my old cabin suitcase um so i need to go through what i want out of here like i've got my favorite white shirt which obviously i want I, this is actually like my one of my number one holiday items so i need to pack that but honestly it's just a little bit of a mess so i feel like i need to take a step back reevaluate like i've got some more beach cover-ups i've got this really cute co-ord from white box i never got to wear in the summer it's this little like bandeau which i feel like looks so cute i've also got sorry obviously you just died I've also got this really cute cobalt from Princess Polly, which I'm going to take. It's like a white midi skirt. Has it got a slit or not? Yeah, it's got like a mini slit. And then it's this. I love this top. It goes with so much. So I'm going to take that. And um, these are one of my favourite beach trousers. So I need to pack those. These are just all stuff that I took to turkey with me like this really cute corset i'm gonna take this because i feel like it'd be nice for dinner one of the nights and i've also got this white one which i think i might take again for like a nicer dinner with a pair of trousers um what else do we want out here this could be cute this little denim dress i feel like this looked actually not that looked nicer than what i thought it would last holiday also i love this cohort from boohoo it looks so cool and expensive i feel like we'd see it on like asos or something it's a bit similar to the ASOS dress. It's like a crochet. I feel like it's very, I feel like it's very holiday travel. So we love that. And then these are actually new from Zara that I got in the summer, but I forgot to actually wear them. I think I got them from the men's section. Got them in a small and they were literally $9.99. I saw Emily Bull in them and she looked really cool and I literally ran and got them myself. They're just like a denim, like jogger short, but I feel like they look a bit smarter and they're like, like slouchy and cool. So I feel like that's everything out of there. And then shoes wise, again, I'm a little bit torn. I'm going to take these because I love them. They're so comfortable. These are from Primark a couple years ago, but I've got them in black leather and then also like a tan camoly like suede. So I might try and find those out, but I feel like these are going to be my like everyday shoe because they're just so comfortable. They look smart, but they're also just like really comfy and cool and cash. Are these the black pair? Yeah, this is the black pair. Again, I might just take the black pair to be honest as well, because again, they just look perfect with everything. They go with a lot. Then I have got these from Boohoo, which I've never worn. Um... I don't know whether I'm going to take these. And then I've also got these like Louis dupes from Ego. I have got like a brown version of these two. I might take these because they're really good for just like sliding on at the beach because obviously they do just like slip on. So I think I might take those, but I just need to sort this out because we're getting a little bit messy in here. Anything that I don't want, I'm going to chuck in here and then that can go back in the loft. But yeah, the room is looking crazy. Let me show you this is the current state i mean if that's not going to give you anxiety then i don't know what will <laughs> because that is scary but if you want to know eight for details this is actually from boohoo this is a little plt top joggers are boohoo and then i had on these boohoo and um, borg ugg dupes and you know it's so sad when i get back uggs probably won't be like really like i might have another couple weeks but do people wear uggs in april in england no, it's kind of sad like i feel like i need to like appreciate them more but yeah i'm so obsessed with my new bag i'm so grateful and i can't believe that i've got a coach bag like it feels crazy it's beautiful beautiful i feel like i couldn't have got a cuter bag for the trip coming up and everything so 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 happy with that 
I'm gonna make a little bit of progress, make a little bit of like, make this look a little bit neater, and then we'll reassess what we've got, whatever, what else, whatever else we need to put in, we'll put in, and then obviously we need to do toiletries, hair stuff, skincare, makeup, tools, jewelry, you know, all of that. So let me sort this out, and then I'll be back. Okay, guys, right, I'm just going through some accessories. I personally love getting these from um, Primark. They come in like packs of fifteen to twenty. I've got a gold um like set that i got recently and then i got these last year but as you can see like i've used a few of them but i feel like they're just really fun especially if you've got like different cartilage cartilage piercings so i'm gonna take both of those but i feel like it's fun to just mix and match then i've just got some of our like favorite chains and um, mine and owls and like little bracelets that we want to take and then i've got some new hoops these are kind of like potato dupes and then i've also got the bow ones for the wedding and i've just cut them down just to like save space but then like they keep them together which is good then i've got some hair bands I've got these again from primark this is just one from sheen and i've got some hair clips i also got these from amazon now this might look a little bit extra but i'm like i might as well just take them all because it's fun it's cute like the only one that i probably wouldn't use is the brain one and maybe the black one because they're not super summery but at that point i might as well take how many is the 10 if i'm going to take eight then i've got these hair clips too this is just like an everyday and then obviously this is a little bit of a cuter one i love that so much and then right sunglasses i need to decide which ones i want so these are my favorite go-to so i'm going to take these ones i feel like they're just classic then if I'm taking those, I don't really need those because those are tortoise shell. I've got two, like, cream. I think I'm going to go for the Pradas because I just prefer the shape. And then I might just take this black pair. So I've got a black pair, so then I've got, like, one of each. So I'm going to put these ones back. I don't know why I've still got my coat on. I've literally been... I'm about to feel ill. So messy. Also, I really don't want to come back to a messy room. So once this is all packed, I'm then going to tidy my room up because there's just going to be nothing worse than coming back to it in a couple of weeks and it being a mess so just excuse the state of me it's kind of cold but i could do with something else have i got a zipper to come on just gonna put this on so what i'm gonna put all of my accessories in i'm gonna have a bag for hair care one for accessories and then one for skincare and then at least like everything's organized and separate but because i've got probably the least things for accessories i'm going to put them in this cherry bag which is really cute so what i'm going to do i'm just going to i might as well just pack those separately at this point so i'm going to put in the headbands the grips i'll also put like my hairbrush and stuff in this and like bobbles once i get them out add that my sunglasses i might keep the i oh know actually because it's not going to be sunny when we get there no it's not me i'm gonna put all my earrings in so i'll also add like combs hair brushes hair bubbles but then that's all in there and then that can go and then i think i'm going to transfer my skincare into this one so my skincare is currently in this one um, but as you can see it's pretty overflowing so i need to decide what i actually want so skincare that i'm going to take this because i love that so much then i'm going to take my Laneige hyaluronic serum obviously i can't really pack this but i'm just going to transfer it i'm going to take the water bank by Laneige. and um, what i've actually been really loving recently i feel like i should take the paula's choice something's leaked in here i think it's the glycolic acid ew you know who I was saying like then? You remember Ashley off Hannah Montana? Ew. <laughs> I'm going to take the Paula's Choice Exfoliator. In this as well, I'll put like my toothbrush, toothpaste, and um, my eyelash serum I need to take. I don't know which one is full. I might have to chuck them both in. My cuticle oil. I've got a little spoolie, which is good for lashes and brows. I'm going to try and keep my skincare fairly simple and not take loads because I do feel like my skin should be fine like in the sun i don't want to be putting too much on it so I, other than that but that's pretty empty so i might just leave that and then i'll also put like my shower products in but i am going to mainly buy shower products over there because we're there for such a long amount of time i feel like i might as well and then obviously save on like the space in the case and stuff so i'll take my femme fresh but other than that i think i'm just gonna leave it there and just try and keep it simple i'll just add some like lip glosses and stuff so that is that done for now. 
Okay, right, this is how we're currently looking. I'm thinking that probably my shoes are gonna have to go in the cabin case, but for now, I'm just gonna try and like squeeze everything in. So, skincare obviously needs to stay out for now, but I can put my accessories in, so I'm gonna pop that in there. I also got this like matching green vibe going on, which is cute. These I'll probably end up putting in my cabin case as well. I'm gonna put all of that here. My hats can go in. They can go there, hopefully they'll be okay. And then just for argument's sake, let's say my skincare fits nicely there. Okay, how do you decide what perfume you want to smell like for the next five weeks? I don't know. So, I feel like we need to do like a spray test to decide. This is Alien by Mugler, which has actually been more of a go-to for me than I ever thought it would be. I did also get Carolina Herrera, but I have actually got a spray, like portable bottle that I keep in my car. So I might actually take that version of this. I feel like that'll be good to just like take around with me. They are so different and nice. Like this is so like sweet and girly, whereas the Alien is that little bit more like mature. So I feel like I might take the full bottle of Alien and then take the little, yeah, the little Carolina Herrera. I'm gonna pop that in with my accessories as well. I also just added some rollers because I forgot that I would need those for my little bits here. Okay, girly pops, right. I'm out the shower. I just cut my thumb and it really hurts. So I'm just getting the last few things together, like hair tools and things like that. I just quickly dyed my braids, but that will have all been in the prep with me, which you guys would have seen. So, right, I've shown you my bag. I am actually just charging up my GoPro or well, my little brother's GoPro so I'm going to take it with me because I took it on holiday with me last time and it got the best clips and I also feel like it's really good for like b-roll content and just getting like you know like aesthetic it's a lot easier to like control and film with than the Sony because it's sometimes like a little bit big so I'm excited to take that with me I need to just get it charged and get all the accessories and things but it's also waterproof and it's so fun for like jumping in water with so we're going to take that with us I've really hurt my finger. Okay, so hair tools. I'm actually just going to take the two because they're like duo ones. So first one, I'm going to take the Mark Hill Pick and Mix. And I've got the roller brush on it at the minute. And then it's also got this medium size curling tongue, which will be great. I don't think I'll often do much with my hair. So I don't typically anyway, but I know it is nice. Like of an evening if you're going out for a meal or something. And obviously I've got like plans while I'm over there with friends. It is nice to look put together. So I'm going to take that and then... I'm going to take the GHG Duet Styler, style, because it straightens and dries your hair in one. So that means I don't have to take a hair dryer because I think they're so bulky. And obviously this is like two in one, which is great. And this will just be good that if I choose to dry my hair, I can. But to be honest, I probably will just let it air dry because it's going to be so warm. But I feel like with these two, it's good because it's not taking up too much room, but it's doing four things in two. So... So these are just a few things that I thought of the chart like this is just what do you call it like a portable charger and um, I need to charge it up but I'm going to take that with us then I've obviously got our passport I've got a new phone case a hair bubble my new iPad case and then this is skincare so I'm going to need this for the morning and then I'll probably just pack it in here but yeah that's just out other than that in my hand luggage it will be stuff like my laptop but you know like electricals like more like work stuff i take my mac in there because i like to make sure it's safe for me to like throw on the plane and um, so my laptop my chargers my teddy my phone my, well no not my books i've got my kindle app on my ipad my hard drive that's honestly it so we are kind of packed so i'll pick you guys up in the morning and i'll just give you like a full rundown of everything before i like close my case and stuff but i can't believe we go tomorrow guys i feel a little bit homesick before i've gone which is so me like i don't know if i said earlier but i used to hate going away 
and like little holidays like it's not so bad but even like just going away for a week I'm always like I get a little bit nervous and I've never been away from home for this long so it feels very I don't know like it just feels really weird like it's just new and it's weird and I kind of don't like it I know like once I'm there it'll be so fun and like I'll be so glad that we went and it'll be like one of the best holidays of our life but it just feels like a little bit it feels a bit more tonight like I feel a bit overwhelmed and you know like having to say goodbye to everyone like normally it's just like have a good trip see you next week and it's like oh my god thank you like can't wait but this feels a bit more like see you in a month and a half like I'm gonna miss you so much like you know it feels really weird so yeah I'm gonna go and spend some time with Sash um and then I'll probably go do my tan and stuff and then just have an early night because obviously we've got such a big travel day but I'm going to get up really early in the morning so I want to be able to get up have a shower take the dog for a walk and then just like wrap up the last few things because we've got to leave to the airport at around 10 I think our flight is at half one so get there for about 11 that gives us two and a half hours to get through and everything and then grab some food or a coffee or something before we go on a long ass flight like the longest flight I think we'll probably ever go on <laughs> which is crazy so yeah that is really most of the packing done but like I said I will pop on tomorrow and just give you a little rundown of everything before I just close the case so good night okay guys right I'm ready for the airport I just feel sick to my stomach to be honest Okay, right, this is the airport look. I'm going to do a little, I think, like, travel to Australia with us vlog on TikTok. And then, obviously, as soon as I get to Australia, I'm going to start vlogging in Melbourne. That's where we're starting the journey. So, my little case is zipped. I've just had to put my straighteners in here because I've literally just straightened my hair and they're still hot. So, but I've got to leave um, to get to Ollie's. So, I'm just going to try and do up my case. I think my case is most definitely going to be over. It's so full. I've got like all my hair products, all my skincare. I don't even like know at this point. I mean, I always say as long as I've got Rabbit and I've got like my makeup, my skincare. Rabbit, by the way, is my, my charter teddy. <laughs> as long as I've got that, like, and my laptop. I'm literally fine like anything else that I forget I just forget um, and I feel like I'll be able to get most things over there that I have forgot if I have forgot anything so it's okay I just honestly do not know how this is going to show I don't think I'm going to be able to and no one else is here um oh Ollie's he's back okay well, I'll have to just chuck that in here today. probably end up putting a bit of stuff in Ollie's thank god this has an extender Oh my god, this is so full, guys. I don't know how this is going to show up. Oh god, is the extender on? Yeah. Oh my god. Look how full that is. Oh no. Can't buy any clothes in Australia like one of you guys told me to. I'm going to have to buy another case. The only thing I haven't packed in it. Oh no. It's my coach bag. But I'm just going to take that and chuck it in. Holly's bag. Right, guys, I hate to leave this on such an abrupt note, but I'm literally going now. So get excited for five weeks worth of Australia content. I love you guys so much. Sorry for being a little bit absent, but. It's just, I've just had such a rough week. So yeah, I love you guys so much. I can't believe we're going to Australia. It feels really crazy. Um, I'm going to go and sit with Sash for a bit. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm not crying. Well, I am crying because I'm sad, but I'm okay. I will see you guys in Australia. Please subscribe. <laughs>